Greetings, fellow Scavengers! Welcome back to Dusker's Weekly Challenge for week number 28 of 2020. Last time we left this uh, weekly challenge, we visited Duck Strike, a fuel depot D with only slime for the investigation type, and then we visited. Oh, yeah, I commandeered uh, Misfit. Misfit? Definitely not a reference for Misfit at 6. I do hope so. Uh, with Tobal Remote Power and probably Stall Transporter. One of these basically, I forgot uh, percentage wise. But yeah, we got it, uh, we cleared the ship. Uh, basically, if you want to commander a ship, you gotta clear them for all the infestations and no vacuum from an airlock that you. Uh, basically, if you have uh, an unstable airlock, you gotta dock at them for the airlocks not to fail. Or else, if it fails, and at worst, the whole ship layout doesn't appear in your uh, the failing airlock doesn't appear in your cinematic view, and you don't have survey. Uh, you be it's just basically gone for you if you want to commander that ship, basically. So at best, you want to come uh, to use ship surveyor, but I still don't have it, and I kind of barely uh, use any ship upgrades here because in some way I just want to reserve myself. Not to use too much of the ship slot usage because even if you don't use uh, the ship upgrades when you uh, already install them in the ship, uh, the ship slot still deteriorates, uh, which is why I tend to not really use much of a uh, ship upgrades here. Uh, I did say that uh, I'm gonna try to figure out what uh, ship that I should visit now I'm thinking pretty much I want to visit a salvage B on the other hand private B tends to have higher propulsion fuel because I still tend to look for one with the higher propulsion fuel and stuff but the plus when you visit mountain ringlet first is that you can visit here on fate and quarantine close by uh, presuming you have the quarantine bypass later on uh, once you get them but and then the opting if you are Visiting McLeafy first is that you will pretty much run low to the visit that you want to visit first uh, as soon as you will return to the system to finish exploring the uh, exploring the entirety derelicts in uh, Eclid system basically. Hmm. On the other hand, Salvage P tends to be the one with the most. Uh, well, again, Salvage has tends to have a lot of loot, so ideally you kind of want to visit there instead of a private B. Not to this private B, of course, because uh, eventually my own wordings can backfire on my own. <laughs> hmm. High scrap capacity too, and we only have like uh, six, six propulsion fuel too, so not much of a uh, emergency to get better ship really. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Mackle. Did I say Mackleyfy? Mackleyfy. Mackleyfy. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just gonna pull a silly and just visit Mackleyfy because why not? But that means we're pretty much out of. Uh, this sort of fuel because and uh, we since we used to have only two proportion fuel anyway. Okay, I have yet to see my drone uh, configuration before, but uh, the advantage of you having additional disabled drone like Brandon here is that I would not uh, increase their drone HP. No, 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 they're not gonna be for. They're not gonna be the fourth active drone that I would use in a derelict. But they will serve as a camera in that derelict in 
every derelict that I will visit. Specifically, if I need to move an infestation to room 1 from the other airlock, and then I will be able to see what infestation type, what moving infestation type that moves to my room 1. You will see, you will see the demonstration once I go through it basically. We're just gonna visit this and uh, I'm gonna need the shield. I may as well gonna need to pry because I don't hold myself. Uh, remote power. Alright. A reroute rather, sorry. I'm talking about the reroute. Yeah. Pry's fun. Pry will be a fun thing to use, specifically later on in the outpost. You will know what I'm talking about if we will have an outpost to visit later on. Are you sure you want to board a ship with a disabled drone? Yes, I am. There's a drone drone in room 2. Uh, one infestation type. Um, medium hull integrity for a tallage. Alright. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. D5, seemingly we will have a possibility to have 4 airlocks, 5 minus 1. And if you have D2, you will only have your A1 as your uh, airlock, basically. A small fun fact there. Also, I need to change my alias because I tend to forget that uh, in the previous episodes. Haha. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna start at uh, 6.50, prepare your timer. We have defense, we have ship scan somewhere, we don't have survey. We have the activated defense. Alright. The reason why I tend to park in the doorway because again, leaper can be dangerous. And pretty much I really want to save myself from using the motion unless necessary. I'm looking at you room 2. Because I will normally not want to pull this off. Uh, in a vertical doorway, this is horizontal ho doorway that we're talking about. I've been having a lot of uh, bad occurrence with uh, vertical doorways because sleeper do be nasty. I still don't know the only investigation types of you now, but we do have the ship defense that we will definitely. Uh, used to pay the slime spawn at. Slime will have a chance to spawn or not spawn at 2 minutes. Percentage I think will be posted in the previous episode. If I forget, I may as well just put it here or something. And they will happen every 2 minutes until you're out of 3 slime spawns in every derelict you visit. No slime. Yet. Still cannot confirm the investigation type of yet. Alright then. I'm gonna have to take a risk. Ah, Leaper. It is Leaper indeed. Mm. I would normally just give up when it comes to uh, leaper dealing thing and just gonna use my motion but uh, since we have a pretty advantaging uh, ship layout as of now I'm just gonna not do that and do this kind of trick as you can see here yeah you can you can still see that the leaper is there 
and leapers will not move towards your position if you're legitimately in the uh, next room that you uh, in the adjacent room and you're not in the doorway when I said you're not in the doorway that's a really essential uh, information I'm telling you there oh yeah we have ship scan right and that's the ship scan I'm talking about I don't have oh yeah I should have equipped my remote power I should have equipped my remote power D8 stopped responding but I still have to pry things will be okay I do hope so um, I'm in the to greedy, so this is gonna be pretty dangerous but we know that this room has the next generator and the leaper too hmm yeah at this rate I'm I'm just gonna use my motion I don't have much bravery to check the leaper position from T15 I only did that uh, previous one because of curiosity not consuming the cat yet thankfully there you are very nice oops I have pretty much limited time before six minutes though so uh, yeah hopefully this can be a quick one quick one Tuki is in this room and the leaper will not move towards your position uh, as long as you're in the, in this room basically also one room only holds uh, one investigation each and in the transporter mission it's pretty much guaranteed for you to only have uh, to not have an open door unless that turn door is pretty much eaten by swarm which can be nasty drone swarm bees you call it Leaper, brute, you call it. Very nice. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's five fifty. Come on, come on. That's 550, 555. If it hits room 9, I gotta. Oh no. Hmm. Okay, transport room 4. In a sense, I'm feeling very lucky to have my room for there. Saving myself there, don't mind me. Because I still can go through this route later on. A bit of a cheeky move there, but it works. As the radiation keeps flowing around this... Uh, This rooms, this exposed rooms rather. So we're definitely not gonna commander this uh, derelict because it lacks uh, ship slot either. Just wanna see if this room has the leaper and it does have them because that room is pretty much scanned. I don't have anything there, so we're just gonna vacuum that leaper to help. That is the space. Also a bit of a fun fact thing, when you close this airlock, you can still see something will come out there too. This will not be fixed until the dev notices that it's meant to be a uh, exploit. <laughs> Alright.
Last room. Not meant to have a uh, leaper there, I don't think. Yeah, as you can see, it has AP field charge for max. The downside is this ship only has one ship slot. And if we were to get ourselves mm, some outposts to visit with then we will need more than one ship slot. But then on the other hand, we have a lot of others, other derelicts to visit with, so I'm just gonna commandeer this. And yeah. This is normally a not commanded uh, strategy, but I'm using this for the sake of the B fuel charge. I just cannot resist. Because again, this kind of a uh, strategy saved me a uh, couple of points uh, in the previous weekly. Man, good times that. Have a competition, friendly competition with Dano, and that was a good times. Mm, oh yeah, I also forgot to mention that I am currently using X Not Stop, which you can Feel free to google yourself, it's a pretty good uh, live, live stopwatch that is pretty much friendly. Unfortunately, my bandicam doesn't really record the uh, timer while I'm recording this game, so unfortunately you really cannot see how it uh, works poorly, but I will definitely leave a video around here somewhere and just gonna see how it turns to you and hope you will enjoy it basically but so far it's been pretty much helpful on my favor hmm all right now do i want to visit century first or do i want to visit piper first all the salvage a eh? all the salvages are savages <laughs> i don't regret using that uh bone by the way that's a uh, yeah no i don't know Hmm, Richard Bottoms would take you see. On the other hand, I still have yet to get myself some scan module as of now. I'm gonna need the tram. Hmm, actually either trap or mine. Because with trap, you can kill multiple infestation in a room that you uh, quote unquote trap the infestation at. And with mine, it seems to be proximity based. You can only kill pretty much once, only one sentry per usage unless you use sensor method or something. I think I'll be dropped at uh, strategy once in one of the daily challenges but I can't pinpoint I cannot pinpoint where the exact video is. Mm. I'm not yet in the process of scrapping my drones as of now due to this uh, drone health but I will eventually scrap one that uh, basically has lower drone HP basically. Yeah. Uh that's gonna come out later. Mm. We have five jump cells. We can just take our time here, actually. This is again. This is a barge. Oh, barge is gonna be a tough one to deal with there. Talasa and Pompey Star. Hmm. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I'm just gonna go to pipe uh, system first to get myself some. Uh, some views around the left side of this uh, universe basically but first things first I'm gonna have to uh, determine where do I exactly want to dock myself at first 
Kickerloo. Government Bay. Halifax. You know what? Checker blue because it's pretty much close with this uh, auto trade that I think I'm going to visit at the end of the uh, mission basically. It only has one infestation type, so that's pretty much uh, all the ideal thing there. Hmm. Absolutely. So, yeah, the advantage of you to need a system like that is that you can determine where you want to visit your first. Uh, location at first, but once you uh, visited uh, the system, you cannot do you cannot do this, as it will eventually point you to to the last uh, object that you visited, like Misfit, that I eventually commented with McAfee. Holy hell, this is gonna be a long one. Okay, so here comes a bit of a bug that in case I have commandeered a ship that shares the same name as the Stargate, I'm gonna get screwed. And it appears I have yet. Talasa though, on the other hand, is one of the ships that's located something around here, I think. Wait. Oh no, it's not here. It's here. Wait, no. Oh no, it's here. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh wait, not that either. Where is it? I think I saw Talasa before, I forgot. So yeah, basically something that you want to keep in mind is that Talasa is the target name. You do not want to commandeer the ship that's related to uh, the target or else bad things will occur. But we can see that Kali system here is the... Um, what is it? What does Dano you... What did Dano call this kind of system before? Basically the fuel system because uh, all of these icons here. Space stations, fuel depots, you name it basically. Hmm. I will want to go to Vladivostok if I were to visit that first. But, uh, for now we're gonna go to Jacob. Hmm. With only transporter. <laughs> hmm. So far no transporter. No outposts to be uh, seen as of yet. We're gonna, we're still gonna stick with the Brian and Toe. Eventually, I'm just gonna put the Toe to Jeff because that's how Jeff is meant to be. Hmm. Using trap instead of. Instead of what again? Instead of mine. But if this in uh oh oh right right. I want to equip the remote power, but I forgot that I use McAfee and not my Muteki. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a lovely Duffy thing. So I kinda eat my own words uh, sometimes. Eh, let's just roll with it. Um, basically looking forward to... Sell some scan module, scan or prop module someday uh, around this kind of uh, derelicts basically. Good horn security too, so this is gonna be a good one where we don't have to basically worry for hmm, radiation leaks basically. Yeah. Alright, moving on. I'm gonna start this mission at 24 minutes. Prepare your timer. Fuel access right off the bat, 6B fuel charge, because that's how salvages are. Oh, that interface is broken, that's sad. This one's not. We have ship defense somewhere. Ship scan survey, not much. Ooh, interesting. But first things first too, I'm just gonna dock at A4 and see if I can listen to anything that's located and remake. Not much, but we will do this. If there is something crystal red ball moving here, then we're just gonna have to deal with the leaper. I think this is long enough for the leaper to move around. Yeah. 
Alright, doing good so far. This is still a bit of cheap defense, apparently. That's not powered, as of now. So many mosquitoes here, so I'm just gonna wrap up this uh, episode after this, I think. Or maybe I'm just gonna pause this uh, uh, recording first, depending on the length of this video, basically. Hmm. All right. Again, park yourself in doorways if you, uh, if you're in case your uh, docking bay is out from your reach. It saves lives, guarantee you. Well, unless the game decides to. Make a rogue spawn somewhere. Oh, this is this could be something. I normally don't like to do this, but I kinda have to. Oh god, yeah, that's not good right there. Hmm. Yep, I guess we're dealing with more leapers. Or brutes as you call it. This is room three, right? Alright, you can see that uh, moving shadow thing. Yeah, that's the leaper, right? Hmm. Room 2 is safe to scout, but I'm just gonna save it for, for now. I gotta have to flag that room. I don't want to forget that I'm putting something there. Alright. Oh god. These damn mosquitoes. If there is any in around that area. Wow, room 11 and room 12. All oh, the left side there. Left top side. Bullseye. Love it. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't like using that uh, airlock. Uh, no, I mean doorway to check around things. It's really not my style. Room 5 is meant to have the room with the transport signal, yeah. Okay. Okay, this is the room with the next generator. Does it have the leaper? If it has the leaper, then we can still kill them at room 12, ship defense room. Yeah. Oh, I just lost the transport signal at this room there. Oh, alright. Okay. Room 9, take 3, room 15. Also, good tool integrity, so I didn't have to worry for. Uh, the radiation leak. Yeah, right, right, right. Oh! Ho ho ho, that's dangerous. So, that room has the leaper that we can kill with room 11 ship defense. We can take our time, like. Uh, 
Okay, I was about to say we can take our time until suddenly this kind of thing occurs. Kind of feels bad, man. Okay, I'm gonna have to kill you here. We have 5 minutes and 3 seconds before Astrid hits Atrium Terrain for the highest uh, chance there. Nope. So, alright. So it's gonna hit in 11.03 mission time wise. Good. Room 5 Leaper is no more. Room 13 Leaper, we can kill. What's this ship defense again? Tra another transporter, holy hell. Nice. Nice, that's uh, Room 13 Leaper as a gunner. We're good. Hmm, 9? Oh, that's Room 9. Nice. 11 what again, sorry? 11... that's way too up there, okay then. We have so many leapers around actually, not gonna lie, it kinda... They kinda caught me off guard. Again, I'm still doing my best not to use the motion. Unless it seems necessary. As you play more of this game, your senses, uh, your timing sense will get a little bit uh, increased. I feel. Ooh, that's small room right here. All right, uh, we're definitely gonna have to deal with that room 14 uh, leaper because apparently that's room with the next generator too. So, opening D38, stand by at uh, room 10, ship defense, uh, I mean, interface that power ship defense. Oh? Oh yeah, right. We have to room 12 for uh, the secondary ship defense, right. Right on time. Love it. All right. Yeah, it has the fan even, but we don't have to worry for that because we don't have slime. We still have a little bit more time before uh, the asteroid will hit somewhere. One minute left, it's gonna hit room 13 and we're pretty much out of, out of reach of it, uh, thankfully. Oh, it has... Hmm. Be right back a bit. Alright, I am back. Timer is paused. I'm gonna plan to move that leaper at room, six, room 17 next time. We will be able to see the console like this, like drag it there. There you go, much better. Interesting, this console is movable somewhere else. <laughs> no 
not much of a chip defense around here as well. We're just gonna get out. Two, one, bam. Oh, I survived to collide. Room drawing is basically safe. And that's really what we can do in this mission. Mm, yeah, we don't have any more ship upgrade for the transport signal to be at and yeah. We're just gonna get out. Uh, not that out. I was meant to type OOT, but yeah, I guess that works too. Hmm, interface deteriorate. I still actually need the interface. Ah. Because I still have yet to find the... Okay, I'm just gonna go to this auto trade first. I just haven't found any scan or prop module that I really need, actually. Ooh, this transport is actually in yellow. Means, uh... Pretty much 15 to 24.99 uh, fail probability and will have a chance to get broken if you use it in a derelict or not. Oh wait, actually yeah, if you use it in a derelict, basically. Alright, let's see what this auto has. Uh, oh. oh my god, oh wow, what the heck? All the mines and all the traps, I am speechless as all hell in the world, baby. Jesus. Be sure I can get the motion. I can get the mine. The trap too. Sure. Oh, she's so rare. It's very nice. And sure, one more... Uh, mine should hurt. I'm gonna go back to uh, these other traits. All these other traits eventually to... Um, to sell them sell my fuels basically uh, more like in case I have I still have a couple of fuels that I can uh, trade around uh, and especially because we have Kali system that is full of all these uh, fuel uh, items basically where you will get uh, half a chance rather to get two of each B fuel and jump fuel uh, well with normally just uh, one B fuel and jump fuel. Of course, it can have zero of them. So it's just pretty much chance pass based. I cannot explain how things work in that regard. But I'm just gonna stop this uh, episode right here. Um, as usual, comment is welcomed. Mm. I'm just gonna hope this video pretty much uh, provides some help. Oh yeah, I forgot to see Sarah's uh, upgrades there, but Sarah's definitely gonna be uh, scrapped due to 70 HP things, so yeah. Cheers, until next episode.